Hello everybody, this is Stringing at me here for a Jurassic World Evolution 2 Mod Showcase. <laughs> Bet you didn't think you'd see one of these again. I have promised more showcase videos and we do have some awesome stuff to showcase. And as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, it's a uh, sauropod showcase. And we have some beautiful, well, yeah, we have some beautiful dinosaurs to release. So we shall start with you. Now this is the Saltosaurus. Oh, it's Shunosaurus as well because that I did uh, give that thing a slight texture update. Skip, you've had your moment in the spotlight, you little fella. Ah, there he is. Yes, Saltosaurus making a return from Evolution One to Two. Um, again, like the uh, Shunosaurus, it has had a slight texture tweak as well. Mo the model has re stayed relatively the same. And yeah, Saltosaurus, looking salty, saltier than ever. And yeah, Shunosaurus, slight texture update, not much to say about it. Slight tweak of the head as well. And yeah, if you want to see these guys being released, you can check them out on the Shorts channel, if I've posted them there. I don't think I have yet. Right then, up next we have got... Okay, we'll do you next, because you're a newcomer, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Isosaurus. Oh, look at that. That's an awesome release. Zoomed in right on his head. Boosh. Oh, I released two of them. Oh, magnificent. Um, yeah, this is one I've wanted to do for a long, long time, Isosaurus, and I finally got around to doing it. And yes, I know they're like replace. Well, they're not replacements, they're uh, extra patterns. As I'll show real quick with the uh, Saltosaurus. So yeah, DK Saltosaurus. DK Isosaurus. I, I don't know when, I, when or if I'll do new species for this game. Because it, it is a much longer process than it was in Evolution 1. And at the minute, since the game is still active and updating, I am reluctant to turn these into new species on the risk that I could run into a whole bunch of problems. Once the game stops updating, I probably will start to slowly integrate these as new species. And I know people are going to ask, when are they going to put them on the Nexus? When I get round to it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, do, I will get them on the Nexus. I don't know when, though. I, can't, I just can't say when. But I will. Eventually. <laughs> but, you know, if it does make you feel better, I know there are other modders out there that are also doing Dinosaur King content for this game. And unlike me, they are posting on the Nexus. So definitely check out their mods as well. Because they do some really good stuff. On to... Ooh, what should we do next? Okay, we'll save you for last because you're quite special. This is the super-sized Supersaurus. Badoosh. Oh, look at that. He is huge. <laughs> Just like the Seismosaurus I did. Oh, I should release I should have released that one as well, because he's had a slight uh, update. Uh, yeah, for those of you that don't know, scale rigging is a thing, and this is one of the ones that have been scaled up. Now, what this this one is actually a uh, Diplodocus port, so the original the original model is actually Diplodocus, because I needed the spikes for the yes uh, from that model, and I moved it over to and I used the. Uh, same rig that I had for the Seismosaurus to make the Supersaurus. Um, it can be a little bit buggy, so you can see here at the uh, back of the tail, the spikes are a little bit off with the uh, weight painting, which is a bit of a shame. But that shouldn't be too tough to fix. And yes, yeah, Super Duper Supersaurus. Absolutely dwarfing these two. Actually, let's put him next to Isosaurus. Look at that, he's massive. Okay, Isosaurus is pretty tall, but yeah. 
The Isosaurus is probably going to get scaled down a little bit because he is a little bit too big. And then obviously these two little sauropods stand little chance. Now then, on to our probably most exciting mod of this showcase. One that has been requested by quite a lot of people for a long time and a personal challenge of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the one, the only, Los Ampelosaurus. Oh, look at that! Oh, we got the DS version first. Oh, that looks awesome. Um, yeah, you can see that I have... I did decide to actually do the DS version of Ampelosaurus as well, because that version has is uh, grey instead of the yellow one, which is the uh, normal Ampelosaurus. And yeah, I finally pulled it off. Uh, shout out to the uh, modding community, because they did help me out with the spikes, because I did uh, have a lot of trouble with them. And yeah, Ampelosaurus. Okay, it, I did have to do a little bit of editing here to get it to be more accurate to the arcade model. So it does look a little bit weird. The neck does stick out a bit. But, you know, that's my uh, weight painting skills for you. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. I'm going to get a pause on that. I'm going to look in on that head. Oh, it looks awesome. Honestly, I, I genuinely feel I absolutely smashed it with this mod. I'm happy with the spikes. The spikes look awesome. The colouring looks awesome. The model looks awesome. Yeah, I really did. I really did kill it with the Ampelosaurus. Now there is some, as I said, there are some slight weight issues, like very slight weight issues with the spikes and that. Sometimes they like stick out. It's not as, you know, uh, chaotic as the uh, Supersaurus, mind you. But yeah. For what it for what it's worth, if the Ampelosaur if you had said to me that the Ampelosaurus would look like that when I finished it, I would have taken that. Right, I want to quickly release the Super Seismosaurus as well. And well, we got we can't have Super Saurus without Seismosaurus. And yeah, the only real updates to the texture, this pattern blends in a bit better. It's a little bit brighter than it used to be. That's all I have to say, really. Well, what's a showcase video? We've had a bit of fun, eh? So, we are going to see if these sauropods can survive against these carnivores. And we are going to start with Carnotaurus. Whoa. My very weird looking... <laughs> well, I wouldn't say very weird looking Carnotaurus. It's an updated Carnotaurus. The texture is out of complete overall, and he's actually been scaled down. So, I shall show a quick comparison. So, here is the DK Carno. And that's the normal Carno. So, you could definitely see that there is a big difference in size. So, the car so I did scale the Carnotaurus down to match its Dinosaur King size a lot better. And this is the first mod, well, the second mod, besides these two bloody giants where I have scaled the uh, model. This is the first one that I've scaled down. Those two are scaled up, obviously. And yeah, a little, it does have a little bit of uh, glitching in that. And there is one big bug in particular, which is a little bit annoying that this, I don't know, it'll like flicker this, it'll flicker and, well, you'll probably see it now in a minute. But yeah, I think in terms of trying to get these guys to match their DK sizes, I I think I might stick with uh, Portin. Right, let's see how this Carnotaurus fares. So we're going to make him hungry. So hopefully he'll start hunting. Oh, look at all these sauropods. Oh, hang on, here we go, I think, maybe. Oh, look at all these sauropods. It's so awesome. Ah, oh, he's going for the Isosaurus. Oh, no. Don't drink the sand. No. Let's see if he can take him. Oh my god, look at him. He's like a little ankle biter. 
<laughs> he looks so tiny. Is he trying to line him up? Oh, hang on. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he got the leg. Oh, a little bulldog. Okay, I think the uh, Isosaurus tanked that quite well, actually. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, only took very little damage. Now, another re... Hey, hey, hang on. Hey, no, no. You've got to hunt the sauropods, you little bugger. Okay, now, the reason why I've decided to do a bunch of sauropods in this showcase is because they are going to feature quite a bit in the uh, next Battle Royale, which I have planned, which will probably, which will be recorded after this, most likely. And we will see if a sauropod can win, officially. Now, I know, like, other channels, they don't do it that way. Sauropods get wasted in seconds, but here, we have unique winners winners you just don't see elsewhere and we're gonna see if a sauropod can win because well we've we've had a situation before i think it was the joe warrior it came third it almost outlasted the carnivals and the way i do the but these battles i think it can be done because the carnivals they they go they can starve to death so that's the one advantage that the sauropods have, is if they have the stamina, the resilience, if they can fight off the carnivores, those carnivores will die of starvation. And the, it's, it's a way for me to get the sauropods more involved, instead of them just being giant whoopee cushions. <laughs> Do the same with the uh, non-fighting non hadrosaurs as well. No, he's going for the uh, isosaurs again. Is this the same one? So yeah, you could see here, he's getting hungry, but yeah, look at that. Isosaurus tanking it like a boss. So if the Carnotaurus cannot bring any of these sauropods down, it will starve to death. I think they need a beer. I think we need a bigger dinosaur. So let's chuck in, well, we'll chuck in Metric Amphosaurus. There's our bumblebee saw looking uh, mighty and magnificent. And actually, quite a few of my uh, mods have been updated recently as well. Mainly quality of life updates, you know, nothing too major. Oh, you look magnificent. I'm sorry, just looking at the Isosaurus. Oh, it looks so good. Now, my big concern is if this Carnotaurus decides to hunt one of these two, because these two can't fight back. Once they are t selected for death. The death is inevitable. Oh, he's, he's, he's eyeing him up. <laughs> he keeps eyeing his Isosaurus up, but he's like having none of it. He's like, no, I'm having bye bye. Oh, such, such majestic beasts, sauropods, aren't they? They don't deserve to be hunted down and ripped apart by carnivores. Actually, I tell you what, as a treat. I'll show you some. I'll show you the next uh, mod I'm working on. It's still a massive work in progress, but I think you'll appreciate the way it looks so far. Yeah, yes, it is the one and only Mega Raptor without feathers, because I haven't added the feathers yet. And well, I'm actually really happy with how the mod the model is finished because I'm really happy with how the model turned out. The texture is relatively finished, there's still a few uh, fixes I need to do. Um, and obviously the big thing is to do the feathers. Now you may be wondering why I have used the Uteraptor rig. Why not Allosaurus or something bigger because obviously Megaraptor is a relatively large dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, really? You bugger, you killed it! Oh, you, you little bugger. Just because you're starving. Oh, and, and you've given yourself internal bleeding now. So yeah, with the Megaraptor, I do plan to do two variants. Similar to the Ampelosaurus, because the DS Megaraptor 
it actually uses the small wind dinosaur model but the, obviously the arcade and the anime is relatively big so when I've actually done with the model and the feathers and that that one will stay as a like on the Utah rig as the small one and the big one will be ported over to the well I haven't actually decided yet so far I'm going with well obviously the obvious choice is Allosaurus so that will probably be the choice I make. Right, these sauropods need a bigger challenge. Let's chuck in a T-Rex. Which one are you? Okay, you're the normal one. Okay. Yes, the, the new, new and improved T-Rex. Oh, that looks so good. I love that bottle. And while we're at it, we'll chuck in a cock. Not oh, really? You're supposed to fight the bloody sauropods, not each other. Okay, this is an, okay, well this is another advantage that the sauropods have if the carnivores kill each other. Oh no no. Oh for God's sake, a laceration. Okay, well, um I think this is gonna be the end for the Shunosaurus. <laughs> it's not gonna survive what the Kark has in store for it. Om nom 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 nom. Oh no! Oh no! Run, little Shudo, run! Oh yeah! He got me by the tail! Oh no! Dragged through the water! Om nom 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 nom. Crushed and drowned. And that was the end of Shunosaurus. <laughs> Look at the Ampelosaurus just looking away in horror. Alright, I just give up. I'm just letting these carnivores kill each other. 45, 89. A carnivore might actually win. Oh, it bloody killed it! Oh, okay. He's going for the Ampelosaurus this time. Can the Ampelosaurus survive? Let's have a look. Oh, it bloody did. It took it. it took it like a champ. Good on you, Ampelosaurus. Well, encouraging signs. Maybe we will see a sauropod win. For the first time. Okay, go on. I'll showcase one more thing. All right, let's see how you stand up to this guy. Yes, it's the one and only, the new and improved big bad black T-Rex. Our new and improved model, looking a lot more and more brute power. Now I will say it has lost its Lux effect. So that is one downside. But that's a downside I can live with. Because look at that, that looks awesome. Ugh. Go on, get the kill over with. Hmm. This kind of Taurus might actually win. Oh, he lacerated it. Oh no, the DS Ampelosaurus is in trouble. The Black T-Rex is eyeing him up, eyeing him up, going for him. Yum! Nom 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 nom. Did it survive? I think it did. Okay, it did take a beating though, but it did escape. The sauropod, very tanky, very resilient. Oh, I think Carcharodontosaurus is about to finish off the Saltosaurus. Dun 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 dun! Nom. Look at him, bloodied and beaten, but the Carcharodontosaurus takes him down. See, this Kark is smart. He's gone for the little ones that can't fight back. <laughs> oh, we got some uh, interaction here. I think we do. My neck is thicker than yours. Yes, but my neck is spiky. Oh, they are in each other up. Boosh. Ah. That's a nice little. That's a nice little animation. Really nice to see two different species like interacting. Well, just as I say that, the black T-Rex decided to finish off the cock. 
You're not supposed to kill this. You're supposed to kill the bloody sauropods. That's the whole point of this showcase. Right. I think we're going to end it here. We've seen some action. We've seen some sauropods. We've seen some epic showcases. And yeah, we're going to end it here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.